Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation Fam I'm Christian. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Bible Study, episode 46. Today we're going to be getting into John chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. We're going to be talking about how Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene. To begin, we're going to start off with a prayer by me. Then we're going to be led by me today. And then at the end, there will be a closing prayer by me. If you guys can, just please bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, God. We thank you for this day that you've made, and I rejoice in the you, God. My prayer is now is about to get to this time to discuss your word, God. I pray that I'll be able to understand your word, God. I pray that you will be blessed, God. I pray that I'll be able to learn something from your word. This hairline and lesson I'll be able to apply to my life, God. I pray that the viewers will be able to learn, God. We pray that we'll continue to be hungry to learn about you each and every single day. Continue to dig deeper in your word, God. We love you and we thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we'll begin into the word for today, John chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. Verse 11 says, Mary was standing outside the tomb crying, and as she wept, she stood and looked in. She saw two roped angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been laying. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angel asked her. Because you have taken away my Lord, she cried, and I don't know where you have put him. She turned she turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she didn't recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried, Rabbi, which is Hebrew for teacher. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go find my brothers and tell them, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I've seen the Lord. Then she gave them his message. Now we get into my thoughts of the scripture. Mary was a very caring um, mother. As we see in the scripture, she went to the tomb crying, but Jesus wasn't there. Instead, two angels were inside the tomb asking why she was crying. But she didn't know where Jesus was at the time. Jesus soon came and revealed himself unto her. He soon tells his mother to pass the message on to his um, brother and his disciple. That says, I'm descendant to my father and your father. To my God and your God. And this scripture is very important because Jesus never forgot his mission. He never forgot that he came on this earth to die. For our sin, and he's gonna be ascending back into heaven to be back with his father. I just love the fact that Jesus never forgot his mission throughout the whole process, and he knew that he couldn't stay here because his mission was almost complete. It was almost complete, and it's soon to him to get back into heaven. Everybody out there, don't forget your mission. What your mission is in life, don't ever forget it and complete. Your yeah, mission, complete your mission, don't ever forget your mission. Like how Jesus never forgot his mission through the whole process and he knew that everything that's going to happen is going to lead in order to him to complete his mission. Don't ever forget your mission. This is the end of Bible study. Now we're going to be doing a closing prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you. We worship you, God. We thank you for this day that you've made. I rejoice in the end again. I thank you for this. Scripture, God. I pray that to everybody out there that we won't forget our mission, God. Our mission is to serve you. Our mission is to spread the word, God. And we pray we'll never forget the mission that you have for us, God. We pray that we'll continue to serve you each and every single day, God. Continue to live a life that pleases you, God. Continue to work in ourselves individually to grow and improve ourselves each and every single day, God. I pray that in this upcoming week that you're going to protect every single body, God. I pray that no bad news, God. I pray for no hurting over any family, God. I love you and I thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. This is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching Bible Study Episode 46, where we got into John chapter 20, verse 11 through 18. We'll be back next week with another episode of Bible Study. If you haven't already, like, subscribe if you're new, turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload, YouTube will send you a notification. This is Motivation if you're a Christian. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.